As the Russian Defense Minister General Sergei Shigu in the company of a Russian military delegation visited North Korea, to participate in the 70th anniversary of the Korean War Armistice, which is normally celebrated as Victory Day in North Korea, he was treated with overwhelming sights that are proof of just how Kim Jong-un is determined to make North Korea's military the most feared military in the world. Shigu who was the first foreign leader to visit North Korea since the breakout of coronavirus in early 2020, was personally given a guided tour by the North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un at a military exhibition on July 27, 2023 in which an array of North Korea's new weapons were unveiled to the world. In that tour, a seemingly confident Kim Jong-un showed the Russian defense minister North Korea's latest and previously unseen spy and combat drones as well as North Korea's largest intercontinental ballistic missiles. From the look of things, the new combat and reconnaissance drones resemble the United States Global Hawk and Reaper drones. In particular, this model, which has a wingspan of 20 meters appeared at the Expo to be equipped with two different types of missiles attached below its wings, and with an overall design that is similar to America's MQ-9 Reaper Combat UAV. Then this other model, looks just exactly as America's RQ-4 Global Hawk drone, which is used as a high-altitude long-endurance platform for intelligence collection. The American version is currently being used by the South Korean Air Force, the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, the NATO Alliance Ground Surveillance, the U.S. Air Force and NASA's Dryden Flight Research. Other systems on display included the frequently tested short-range nuclear missiles like the KN-23, the KN-25, a multiple launch rocket system, some submarine-launched ballistic missiles, the Wassel cruise missiles as well as an underwater nuclear attack drone that was first revealed earlier this year. This mail truck type vehicle that was first shown at the April 2022 military parade and which was also at the exhibition as an anti-tank guided missile carrier and I bet you can see how it does its thing when in operation. It is unclear when Pyongyang began developing the new drones, but their reveal came around two and a half years after Kim Jong-un ordered the military in January 2021, to produce unmanned striking equipment and reconnaissance drones with a range of 500 kilometers. The unveiling of the new weapons also comes months after the United States accusing North Korea of supplying Russia with weapons for its war in Ukraine, though Pyongyang denied the accusations. Being a historic ally of North Korea, Russia is one of the few countries with which Pyongyang maintains friendly relations in addition to China, and that's why the two countries sent their high-profile delegations to participate in this 70th Victory Day anniversary. According to military experts, Russia is seeking to strengthen its ties with North Korea and Pyongyang is happily embracing the same because they need each other. That Russia needs the potential of the North Korean military industry in the realm of conventional weapons while North Korea needs Russian missile technology. However, geopolitical experts have predicted that despite the high-profile coverage of Shigu's visit, North Korea is likely to be very careful about providing Russia with weapons for its war in Ukraine. That if it is confirmed publicly that North Korea is providing Russia with weapons, European countries will automatically turn hostile towards Pyongyang and therefore North Korea must be careful with regards to its deals with Russia. This however doesn't mean that North Korea might not offer help to Russia should Moscow ask for the same because it's possible that Russia will seek more help from North Korea but in secret so as Western powers may not get wind of it. Do you think this renewed military partnership between Moscow and Pyongyang is a big threat to the West at this time when Ukrainian counteroffensive is yielding minimal fruits? Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe before leaving.